Luckily you did one one more, and luckily I've got one more prepared with the guys. No, I've only got one more. We'll do it twice then. <laughs> Don't you ever do that to me again. <laughs> Since my last show, this is my show a couple of nights ago, there have been flocks and flocks and flocks of people flocking. <laughs> Blocking to me to tell me how much they thoroughly enjoyed Steve Allison, the comedian, and Doug Cameron, the magician. But from those flocks, those very flocks, there has been a veritable plethora, plethora. Yes, I know a little Greek. He's sitting over there. No. There have been lots of requests for me to repeat a song that I did in the first show the other night, and I think that out of all the songs that the guys and I do together, this is the one that does here repeating my favourite, favourite Queen song, Bohemian Absolutely. <laughs> was overheard talking. Not unusual. <laughs> she was overheard in conversation with another woman. <laughs> she was overheard saying about me, about my piano playing, and I quote, he's not playing the piano, he's miming the piano, I don't know where she's from, he's miming the piano, if he was playing the piano, I would know, she would know. Madam, if you are out there, and I'm pretty sure you're pretty out there. As a musical critic, you are a fraud. I've always likened critics to eunuchs. Wait for it. They're there every night. They know how it's done. They just can't do it themselves. So I will prove to each and every one of you here that there is no miming. Bohemian Rhapsody. My challenge come 